New overnight, Congress ordering Boeing's CEO to D.C. to testify about the company's commercial jets. That move coming as a new whistleblower is raising safety concerns over the 787 Dreamliner now. Longtime Boeing quality engineer Sam Salipour says Boeing took shortcuts while assembling the plane, warning it could break apart mid-flight. He told reporters the fuselages for those planes come in pieces from several different manufacturers, and because of that, the parts were forced together on the assembly, uh, assembly line. This new investigation comes during increased scrutiny on Boeing, starting with the Alaska Airlines door plug blowout back in January. But those issues have persisted for months now, even up to this weekend when a Southwest Airlines Boeing plane lost that engine cover mid-flight. The FAA investigating that incident as well. Joining me now is News Nation travel editor Peter Greenberg. Uh, Peter, good to have you once again this morning. A lot of aviation news this week. He's not the first Boeing whistleblower to come forward. So what did you make of these newest claims? Well, you're right. He's not the first. And what the investigation is focusing on is what did Boeing know? When did it know it? And then, of course, what did Boeing do about the charges that there were shortcuts made in the manufacturing process, not to mention the inspection process? And, of course, in this particular claim, and this is not a new claim, that when engineers brought up these problems to Boeing, they were either ignored or worse, these engineers were then reassigned to other places in the Boeing system. This is what the investigation is focusing on. And of course, one of the issues about the Boeing 787 is that Boeing outsourced so many processes on this plane to so many subcontractors where the inspection process may not also have existed that this investigation may make many, many turns before we find out. Yeah, several people have come forward talking about the company culture there. Uh, Boeing now has two aircraft under investigation, Peter. It's it's the 737 MAX jet, now this Dreamliner. This whistleblower alleges there are issues on more than 1,400 planes and all. How concerned should we be when getting on one of these aircraft? Well, I fly them all the time, but I am concerned because remember this, the Boeing 787 was the first plane built using mostly composite materials, but it was also the first time that the plane was certified not by placing a prototype on a test bed and taking every component part to failure. It was the first plane certified by computer in not real world conditions. The real world conditions really are what's going on now. The plane actually flying in service. So this is going to spark an entirely different investigation in terms of the materials and the inspection. And then we may have to retest everything. Peter, you and I were just on 24 hours ago talking about the optics of Boeing. Now this, would there ever be a moment where all of Boeing is just put on pause pending investigations or are they too big a player in commercial aviation? I highly doubt they're going to be put on pause. Remember, they're America's largest export company. It's not just the contracts they have with airlines. It's the contracts they have with governments, first and foremost, the United States government, all the military contracts, the space contracts. So the U.S. has sort of a double-edged sword to deal with here. If they stop Boeing, they stop the government as well in terms of supplying the military and other government agencies. So it's a very tricky road to walk, but they're going to have to walk it. Yeah, and we know this whistleblower is set to appear in a hearing on Capitol Hill uh, to talk about this. That is set for April 17th. We'll see what he has to say, as well as this Boeing CEO. Peter Greenberg, always good to have you. Thank you once again. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.